since I was young, like I used to live in Chicoutimi and at five years old, we moved to Montreal in the city. And every summer I used to go back for the, for the summer vacation. And my grandparents, the first thing I asked my grandfather from the airport to the, to his house was, oh, please grandpa, can we stop on the road? I want to see the, the cows and the horses. And we, he always did. And I had to see them and touch them. And I was so amazed. I miss them every year. My mother didn't really like animals. So I always promised myself one day I would have a, a farm well I wasn't sure like a dairy farm or whatever so we settled for like an equestrian farm so basically a horse is a prey animal so it's always a life and or death situation and she's the watcher so she needs to watch all the time if there's a predator coming they're still wild even if you have them like we have them in captivity for them like they always think even when they're in the barn like they're always afraid that the predator will come even us humans we are predator for them if it's your passion basically you just enjoy the time anytime you're here and just enjoy the time with them you know they you think you can show them a lot of things but actually they showed me a lot of things they're they're good teachers uh, just by observing observing them you learn a lot you learn a lot how they live in collectivity how they communicate it's amazing how they communicate just with like eyes or like the ear and they have a strong sense of like um, engagement and influence like if one starts to run the two the third second third, they're all gonna run so basically their their sense of um, uh, engaging other people it's it's amazing so all those qualities are basically quality that we learn in leadership courses so there's a, a big correlation with work and what I learned with them I guess today you know financial like every I guess a lot of jobs today it's always like fast 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 technology and basically there's a lot of sick people out there like you know either depression because people they I can I guess they live in the past and I guess the one who are anxious they live in the future but the horse thought that they show one thing that they showed me is really to be in the present to be in the moment you really have to be with them you cannot once I come here like I, I cannot talk, think about work or you know what's to, what's what we need to eat or whatever I need to be with them and be in the moment I think it helped my work-life balance because um, it used to be difficult to take vacations like I used to lose lots of days of vacation but since we have since five years now like I don't miss a day like I always look forward to take my vacation and stay here at home and then just get to enjoy the place here and just get to enjoy the horses my name is uh, Charlie Ten Menard and I'm working with horses over it's been from 20 years now I'm working with horses it's always have been my passion uh, I wanted from being a kid I wanted to speak to animal and I choose the biggest one that I can found to speak with so shall we do a lot of groundwork all we do is groundwork and what it does is basically it teaches the horses to, to think for them from them for themselves um, they can take decision and we just tell them it was a good decision or it was a bad decision and then they kind of learn by themselves and we teach them not to overreact just to be confident just to trust us so because his philosophy if is if you can't control the horse on the ground, no way you're gonna control the horse when you're on, when you're on his back. Because the first thing a horse wants to do when they wanna flee is basically get you out of there because they can run faster. We always say that they have two full tank of gas, a left one and a right one, and we have to make sure that these tanks are empty. And basically, um, you have to stay calm, focus, and basically we try to mimic the leader and that's what they want they want to be with the leader they want to be with the calm person they don't like people who are excited or stressed because it stresses them and they have a like a specific scan they're able to tell if you're stressed if you're sad if you're happy uh, you can't lie to a horse uh, i've always have looked to who different animals and and see that they can understand each other so they they have a language 
when I was young, I was more thinking it was like kind of Toy Story. They're speaking in our back when we're not there. But I discovered that horses have a language, have a body language. They, they understand each other. They speak to each other. It's just it's us who need to uh, kick ourselves to try to understand their language, their way of life, their way of living, their way of thinking, instead of asking them to understand us. My approach to horses is uh, make them think. It's like human. We are not intelligent at birth. We develop our intelligence, the same thing with horses. We need to be put in small problems and to think of a solution to get out that's improve our intelligence. So that's how I say I work with the mind and the heart of the horse. I make the, hunter, uh, the horse wants to be with me instead of forcing them to stay with me. So when I get the mind of the horse who wants to work with me, it's uh, a lot better to teach them after. It's the same thing with kids. We want them to love to be at school and not force them to stay at school. You can never expect a horse to control itself better than you control yourself. You can never ask a horse to be more disciplined than you are with yourself. You cannot ask a horse to be calmer than you are. The horses are the mirror of yourself. So you cannot look in the mirror and try to control your reflect. You need to control yourself. You're going to control your reflection too.